All right guys, Alvin here for just another quick video. Um, we're gonna talk about three ways to, get to keep your running schedule consistent. There are at least things that I incorporate to help me with my running schedule. One, run in areas or find things that are visually appealing. Some of us, obviously I live in San Francisco and I can run next to the Golden Gate Bridge, but there are also beautiful places all around the country. So find a place that's close to your home within running or walking distance where you can go, where you can really kind of zone out and just kind of enjoy the environment that you're in whether that be a park, whether that be even sometimes downtown can, um, and city centers can sometimes be pretty or uh, just outside city limits. Uh, a lot of times places like that can also be appealing to the eye. Two, pick a, find a favorite route or a route that you can run all the time or at least every couple of times. That way you can really judge your progress. Meaning say you've got a big oak tree down at the end of the corner or at the end of the street, you try to remember how you felt when you passed that tree. It's familiar, you know where it is, and as you get to it, you can take a mental note and be like, you know what, last time I got to this place, I was a little bit more out of breath than I am right now. And that's just another way that you can give yourself some small, some subtle wins. So if anything, I guess the tip for, or the second tip is to give yourself some small wins to help you build up a little bit of momentum, but using the route as being the, the litmus test. And then three, and last but not least, is find an app that works for you. I love Strava. I don't know what it has to do with, whether it's a Samsung thing or the GPS or what, but for whatever reason, 50% of the time I use Strava, it doesn't record my runs, which pisses me off to no end. So I generally use the Nike app. I would love to use Strava because it does have a lot of extra tools and things, but the app doesn't matter if it doesn't record your run and it doesn't give you the data that you need. So uh, the Nike app gives me at least what I need. It gives me my mileage, it gives me my altitude, um, and it shows me my route and my map breaks things down. I would love to have a little bit more information and I'll probably explore with a few other apps and so on. But again, simplicity is key on this one. You know, I could go out and buy a seven or $800 uh, Garmin and use that and, um, and connect that to Strava and go and jump through a whole bunch of hoops. But the reality is, is that I kind of like things to just to be a little bit more simple and Nike has never really failed me. So, but that's something that's entirely up to you. So real quick, just to recap, three things. Find a route that, right routes that are visually appealing that are keep you distracted. Two, find familiar areas and make mental note of how you feel when you cross and go through some of these areas. And last but not least, find an app or some sort of way that you can monitor your performance, that you can monitor your performance in a way that, um, that works for you because everybody is different. Anyways, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. I told you it was gonna be short. Erica Badu said it best. I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit.